I'm Larry Anglisano from Aviation Consumer Magazine here on location in Daytona Beach, Florida at the main campus of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. I'm at the National Training Aircraft Symposium where L3 Aviation is one of several manufacturers presenting its lineup of new ADS-B solutions. To tell us more about the L3 Lynx, here's L3's Todd Skelton. Uh, L3 Aviation Products recently announced a line of ADS-B products uh, to meet the 2020 mandate. Starting with, on, on the very entry level, we have an NGT-1000, which is a remote box. All our units have an embedded WAS GPS. The NGT-1000 uh, NGT is a UAT out only, and it's designed for the aircraft that just wants to be uh, compliant with a minimum amount of uh, money. Uh, a step up from the NGT-1000 is the NGT-2000. The NGT-2000 has an embedded uh, WAS GPS, the NGT-2500 uh, is also a remote-mounted unit, embedded WAS GPS, which is compliant. Uh, the 2500 uh, adds a 422 out, ours 422 out, uh, to uh, selected displays. Uh, so the output is there to uh, put your weather and traffic on a, sl uh, a number of uh, multifunction displays. The NGT-9000 is a pan and mounted uh, ADS-B device that incorporates a 1090 uh, Mode S extended squitter transponder uh, with UAT in, has an embedded WAS GPS, and there is an option to add active traffic to that one unit. It has a touchscreen, so it's a multifunction display that does transponder functions and uh, TISB, ADSB, ADSR, and the option for active traffic as well as all the FISB. Uh, products. What we have installed in our company airplane is the NGT 9000 Plus. The plus uh, part of the NGT is active traffic. So on the display we will see a mix of ADS-B traffic and active traffic. Um, also one thing you'll notice is that we've moved the, uh, the transponder to the top of the stack and that was a, a logical decision because it's much more than a transponder now. The pilot has much more interaction as you'll see as we go through this demo. Uh, that it makes sense to, to uh, give the transponder a promotion, so to speak, uh, higher up into the panel. There's a split screen on the NGT-9000 on the left side and the right side. On the left side, the first screen, you'll see your typical uh, transponder functions that you would expect. To put in a transponder code, you touch it, put in your code, and it's automatically entered. You can go back to a VFR code and it will remember the code that, uh, that you put in there previously. Once we're done entering our transponder code and we're happy, we can swipe it over and we'll get the traffic screen on the left side. You'll notice that the traffic screen on the right side is the same screen. The reason why we did that is we didn't want to have any case where there was no traffic showing on the display. So there's a lot of traffic out here today at Daytona Beach and you'll see a mix of TAS traffic by a opened uh, diamond symbol and the ADS-B symbology, which is the triangle. And I can select one of these aircraft here. And there's November 407 Echo Romeo, Embry Riddle Flight School aircraft. I can pull up the information and it'll give me uh, some other data. It's a light aircraft and it's, uh, he's doing 97 knots. It's an open uh, diamond and that's an active traffic. So we're not receiving him TISB or ADSB because he's not equipped, but we're surveilling uh, him with the active traffic system. And internally, we will take the, uh, the best solution. Um, ADS-B out is always the best solution, um, but we will correlate the aircraft and display the best solution for uh, traffic. The second page is uh, radar information coming through FISB. So I simply touch on an airport. The identifier will come up. If I hit the info button on the left side, the graphical METAR will come up decoded. So I can scan through that and see what the current weather is. I also have the choice to look at TAFs or NOTAMs for that airport. Another feature that we've added to this page is the ability for the pilot to select what FISB products he would like display based on decluttering. The legend will give me some of the color codes, the METAR color codes, air METs, TFR, third page on the right side of the screen is winds and temperature aloft. I can scale out 
scale in, select between winds or temperature, and then I can change the flight level here. So 6,000 feet, 3,000 feet, on up to flight level 390. One of the other features of the NGT 9000 is the ability to Wi-Fi the information out to an app. And you'll see my iPad mini here uh, with Wing X Pro, and you'll see all the ADS-B targets uh, around the area. If there were weather out there, we would see uh, weather displayed on there too. The, the pricing for these units start out at the entry level NGT 1000 at around uh, $2,000. And again, that's UAT out only. And uh, the NGT 9000 that you just see displayed in the aircraft here is an NGT 1000, uh, 9000 plus with the active traffic and the list price on that is around 10200 There's a couple other variants of the NGT 9000 uh, that we have the option for diversity to antennas and we do have a remote version for the NGT uh, 9000 as well. For more information on the entire product line you can visit your L3 dealer or go to our website which is l-3links l-y-n-x Com. Now, for a full report of the L3 Link system and an ADSB buyer's guide, you can read the April 2015 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. With Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano, and thanks for watching.